you wake up in the morning and you decide to put on your alter ego and go, hey, I, I, I'm someone different today, like Batman and Robin or Superman trying to pick up the pieces of the world, that's where we have been for a very long time on this channel. What am I talking about? Well, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk about my recent dive into the furry fandom. Um, because things are a lot different and a lot of people seem to be missing this mug. So I'm still here. I still exist uh, behind the camera. Uh, it, it's just a very different, uh, different world altogether. Now, we have spoken time and again about DEI in video games, how video games and media, how corporations like to pander to a certain, certain subsect of people out there in the world. And... It's much different when you step onto the other side of an avatar at this point, or the other side of a persona, embracing things that you have always had. The, these things like the Phoenix that I've used on this channel is stuff that I've always had. And it, it's a different sense of well-being. Now, does it come with the duality? That's kind of where we are today. That's more what I've discovered here is having that duality where you have an alter ego that can be front and center and have all sorts of more positive vibes and more positive interactions and motivation behind the camera makes it a lot of a different scenario. Now, it, does it really change who I am? Does it make things a little bit weird? It, it, it is, it is when, when you first step into something like this and you see yourself in a mirror, you just kind of sit there and you get mesmerized a little bit and you, you turn around and you're, you're like, what am I doing? You know, the, this whole time, these last four months, I have questioned my, my mental state so many times. And because I'm doing that, I think it, uh, I think it uh, really reflects of where I have been. Uh, I've gone through my ups and my downs, and I've, uh, I've spoken to, at length, the, the persona behind this mug, be behind the camera. And things that I've gone through in life have never been easy. But at the same time, talking about the commentary, talking about the viewpoints that I've had on a lot of different video games. And I'm starting to realize very quickly, there is a lot of people that share that as well. I can talk about certain topics very, very much so. And you know, there's certain games out there that I don't like. Everyone has a personal taste and that's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. My personal taste may have changed, but the dive that I've had into this fandom has shown me a different path, has shown me something completely new and exciting, and I don't see it subsiding anytime soon. I do see more content that way, and I just hope that we can connect on that level, where, where as viewerships, as, as uh, videos go, I, I hope I can drive forward something that a lot of people will still watch and reflect to the normal gamer because ultimately right now I am playing the best game of my life, being able to put on a mask or put on a persona at this point and just enjoy life and meet new people and connect with people in a different, in a completely different atmosphere. Now, I do see some of this as, uh, as, forming new friendships and forming new people in my life and I think that's a very positive thing because I have been missing out on a lot of that the the people that have been around the channel for a long time they have known how the ups and downs that I've gone through they have I put I don't hide anything I I, I talk about things that really are uh, uh, subservient to my well-being uh, and I deal with things a lot recently you know I, I I lost another job but that's not it wasn't really losing a job at that point the job was over the, the uh, you know you go through a state where one job to the next they and it's a very very bad situation I hate I hate that feeling when a job is coming to the end and then suddenly they're like, okay, we don't need your services anymore. You can move on to the next job. And then you're stuck between a rock and a hard place going, okay, what do I do? Do I pick up another job? Um, it, it, I, I'm still employed with my employer in that sense, but I'm not employed uh, where I am working. They, they just don't have hours for me to go out there and do something. You know, you sit there a little bit and you wait for the next job. And that's that's unfortunately the life of a tradesperson. That's, that's something that you have to deal with on a regular basis. So 
that leaves me with a little bit of time on my hands. And with that time, that's where I sit there and I go, okay, let's make some content. Let's, let's do the YouTube thing. Let's, let's put one foot in front of the other and speak in front of the camera again. But in this last little bit where I've been able to put on a persona and put on a, a avatar at this point, uh, it, it's been a very different scenario. I feel like I can be more, more out there and be more alive and be more positive and motivating at that point. And everyone goes through these ups and downs. The motivation where you can get up and get in front of a camera, some days it's not easy. And you know, I've taken a step back and kind of reflected on what I've done with the channel and how many, how much content I have put out there. I, I can't believe I have over a thousand edited videos at this point. That That's absolutely insane how, how much content I have put out. Uh, for what little I push forward. And I hope to bring on more, more positive and more quality things. It's just learning. The learning curves on these things are immense. Especially when you're raising a family and you, you work the hours that I tend to work when I, I do do these jobs. It's not, they're not easy things uh, ultimately when you have to sit there and wake up and, and go to work six, seven, 18 days straight. Those, those are not fun things to do. Uh, but I do what I must for, to support my family and to support the, the people around me. Now this happens to be my hobby and happens to be something more. And you know, I would love to be able to sit there and just completely throw more money at it. And unfortunately I can't do things like that. Bills have to be paid. We, we still got to keep a roof over our heads, but at the same time, I now have, I'm now forming new friendships and that motivation to get up the next day and, and hang out with those friends is absolutely immense right now. I've lost, I, I've loved and lost a lot of friends right now. And this is the one outlet that I have. And going through the days where I first started the channel, first doing regular content, seeing uh, the people online doing content and where I just put my foot out there saying, hey, listen, I'm here and I'm going to put out content. It, it'd be great if you watched it. And that's all I ask of people right now is to listen and learn and, and just to know things are still good. And this year ha ha has been an amazing year. It let me reflect on a lot. I, I, I went to Vegas. I went to Nova Scotia. We went to Jasper, thankfully, before it burnt down. And those trips have let me kind of relax a little bit and take a reflective look at what, what things were doing. And then the, the fateful day of walking through the doors of that, uh, that convention and seeing how many, how many people are around. I didn't see a single face in that convention hall that was frowning or upset or, or tired or, or just without, without emotion. Everyone was happy and that's all I want. And it, it wasn't a sense that, yes, everyone was just happy, but they wanted to make everyone happy. And that's what I want to do. That's something I've always done. That, that who I am and part of the Phoenix, uh, why I've draw and been drawn to that so much. I don't have a corporation sitting here trying to placate or trying to pander to me. I have corporations always just trying to do what they can for, for a little bit of money. And they think that they can go down the route where they turn around and change characters in a video game in order to, to make that little bit of extra money. Well, we're already finding out with a lot of video games that have stepped forward like that and tried to make those changes into video games. It's not the way to go. It never has been. And that's where I see things a lot differently. That's where I see a duality in, in everything with the, the personas, with the, it, it's almost like my own little Batman or, or, or Superman. It's larger than life. And it's those larger than life characters that mean so much more to everybody out there and why it does something more. So why wouldn't a person dive into something like this? I've already got the personality of uh, of a tomato at that point. I've already got uh, a, a situation where I am a true gamer through and through. Hell, I'm wearing my my gamers don't get older shirt right now. Honestly, I I I feel like I'm playing the best game of my life, and it happens to be online making new friends. So that's what it all means to me right now, and why why I've kind of stepped away from the commentary stuff. I, you know, I can talk until I'm blue in the face. And we already know that these corporations that are pushing this, this, these extra actions out there, they're already starting to 
backtrack on that. They're already starting to say, hey, listen, what we've done with these things have not been good. It's been bad for sales. And why is that? It's because they're doing it in such a way to try and pander to certain groups and those groups don't want to be pandered to. It, it's cool when you have movies like Zootopia that pops up and you have everyone in there in, in a furry like uh, state and the anthropomorphic situation where it's human-like beings, you remember it a lot more. You have a lot more Disney-ish sort of things behind it. And Disney, they did it for a long time, but then they fall into the trap and that trap you know, I think we're all a little bit, uh, we're all a little bit stuck in that trap a little bit. One side of the coin or the other, the commentary side versus the corporation, you know, everyone, it's trying to find that middle ground and trying to find that balance. And that's where I'm at right now. And I feel that the balance that I have found is immensely great. And I hope going forward, I can continue that balance. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow, and I will see you again very soon.